first guest, actors Dulé Hill and Jasmine Simon are just extraordinary people. They are one of the most talented and beautiful couples in Hollywood. Jasmine, an author, an actor who rose to stardom opposite The Rock on HBO's hit dramedy, The Baller Show, I love that show, and Dulé, who became, of course, a household name with shows like The West Wing, Psych, The Wonder Years, which I'm still obsessed with. The parents of two kids, ages 18 and three, talk about age gap are now together on a mission to remind young people of their limitless potential with their beautiful new children's book. This book, when I tell you, is beyond adorable, but it's also important to read things like this to our children. The book is called Repeat After Me, Big Things to Say Every Day. Tan fam, they always have something to say every day that is big and important. Actors, authors, amazing people all around that I adore. Give it up for Jasmine Simon and Dula. Congratulations and congratulations and congratulations Thank on you. it. Uh, I'll say it again. Congratulations again. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. It Thank is you. so good. Uh, uh, both of you have been on the show separately. Mm -hmm. And I think I ran into you, Dulé, in New Orleans at the Essence Fest. And I said, That's we right. have to get you That's on right. together. Yeah, sure See, enough. See, you're just asking, right. you will receive. I keep telling you guys. That's what they say. Ask and you will receive. Um, I had no idea, though, you were working on this together. Yes. That's right. Jasmine, you recruited Dulé? I did. I roped him in. I like <laughs> You're doing this. Um, she says, let's do this. I say, okay. okay. <laughs> Your smart you know? husband. <laughs> He's the, the best, smartest husband at, whose birthday is today. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I know there's some other birthdays out there, too. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's your birthday today. Yep. Next trip around the sun, they always tell you to do one thing that you haven't done before in, that, in this coming year. What's the one thing that comes to mind you'd like to do this year that you've never done before? I'd be on the Tamron Hall show with my beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you make your dreams come true. Look at that. You know, this, your husband is so He's smooth. smooth. <laughs> He's so smooth. Like cocoa butter. Which, which brings me to how you all met. Mm -hmm. Because you were on the set of a movie, right? When you saw her? We were on the set of Ballers. Ballers. Yeah. Of Ballers. Right. I think we even have the picture that you took. You said it was the moment you knew that... Well, okay, this was... What, yep. Tell me about this picture. Explain this picture. Yeah, Jasmine, you always tell the story yeah, better than me. Yeah, so this is serendipitous. I was shooting, this is my first TV show, and I was supposed to be there for two days. I was going to shoot and fly home. And my time came and went, and they said, you're going to shoot in two weeks. Sorry, we couldn't fit you in today. And I was like, two weeks? Oh, my gosh. So this is one week later. I called production, and I said, I am so bored. I'm sitting in my room. Can you guys pick me up for lunch? And they said, yeah, we'll come pick you up. And I went to work, and I walked in the lunch trailer, and Dulé was there with Omar Benson Miller, who played my husband on Ball. sitting right across the right table. Across. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and I was like, can I sit with you guys? And he said, oh, I know who you are. You're friends with Saladin Patterson. And I said, yeah. And he's like, let me take a picture. And he took the picture and sent it to Saladin. And Saladin said... She's a, a good lady. Stay away from her. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Saladin Patterson is the creator of the Wonder Years. Right, right. Yeah, so. Everything is full circle. So it's all full circle. <laughs> yeah. So you took this picture. I see her. I feel like I see you flirting with the person taking the picture. You got your hand tucked under. You your, see? It, it's a little wink and a smile. No. No. <laughs> No, I made I agree with you, Tamron. I agree with you. I feel like that woman in that picture <laughs> is flirting with the person who took the picture, and you were taking it. I was taking the picture. But yeah. she tells a different story. Oh, the Tamron, the story is different. <laughs> um, I had got Ballers Fair and Square. I auditioned. I worked my butt off. It was my 200th audition in L.A., and I booked it, and I said... I will not date anybody on this show. It was a bunch of wonderful actors. They were all male. And I said, I got this job. I don't want anybody to think I got this job any other way than auditioning. So I will not date any of you. You are all my brothers. And Dulé said, I'm not your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. And so we, we were actually, we were, I know. And I was like, okay. You're and like, I, and you're not my brother. And I danced away. I was like, okay, oh God. 
I'm friend zoning you double now. Mm -hmm. um, and then it took a year and a half. We were mm -hmm. strictly friends. We were best friends. Mm -hmm. We didn't hold hands. We didn't hug. We did not kiss. We did not. We not, were mm -hmm. best friends for one and a half years. He <laughs> stayed in the friend yeah, zone. If we, were, if we were in the same city, then we would go out to dinner, go out to lunch. Mm -hmm. But were, but were you catching feelings though over that over, year? Over time, but initially for myself, I wasn't looking to be in a relationship right. either. So it was... me either. I was on a hit show. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> and so what's so beautiful? There's so many layers of beauty in your relationship, but you've talked about it on our Mother's Day special last year, being a single mom, mm -hmm. Kennedy, who's yes. in college. She is finishing up her first freshman year, year That's right. in move. college. Yep. She so is. proud. So of her. she's now 18. At the time, you were a single mom. Yep. I've been very open about God gave me the dad I was meant to have and that my stepfather raised me. You then get together, you adopted yep. Kennedy, mm -hmm. and then you have Levi, who's now three. Yeah, right. so and it all and started in the cafeteria That's at it. Ballers. That's right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look yes. at this. You know, you never really know how moments of life intersect because really I only had one day to come down and film my part of Ballers. Yeah. I was doing After Midnight on Broadway here in New York. So I flew down, worked this one day, was flying back up. By chance, Jasmine's stuff got pushed. By chance, she was tired of being in a room. By chance, they said, come and have lunch. <laughs> and by chance, I was sitting with Omar Benson Miller, who we both knew. And then who knew it in that moment when we took the picture, all this was going to be coming afterwards. Yeah. And this is the greatest oh gift I could have asked for. Yeah. Why do you want me to cry, <laughs> You know, th this book is all about affirmations. And mm -hmm. the very first page, I love how you set the stage. Um, Jasmine, you wrote, Dulé and I wrote this book to help our children see themselves as they truly are, spectacular. Early in my parenting journey, I read that when you say affirmations out loud and in first person, you are actually rewiring your brain to believe Absolutely. what you say. Absolutely. So we all have the power. I know everyone's heard the placebo effect. Like you take a pill, you think you feel better because you are so powerful that you can tell your mind what to think. So if you tell yourself, I am wonderful, your brain is like, yeah, we are. Yeah. Yes, we are. Well, yeah. absolutely, yeah. we are. Right. It's true, right. it's yes. so true. And I'll tell you, when I was reading, I was reading the book to Moses last night. This was our bedtime read and it's now our favorite book. Um, it does. You're reading it to your child, but you need it too. That's right. And that's what I got from the book last night. I'm reading this to him, and I'm like, listen, baby, I need this too. Yes. I am deserving. You should know, simply because you are here, you deserve every good thing, both far and, and near. near. That's yes. right. Yeah, that's I right. I love it. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think that it was important for us to write this book because our children are hurting right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, Moses doesn't know a single negative thing about himself. He knows that he is loved. He knows that his mother and father love him, that he is supported. But one day, unfortunately, because of the world that we live in, he will come up against something, a negative word. We all remember a time when we believed that we can be anything, that we were the greatest thing, and then we heard something and we held on to that negativity. What we're trying to do with this book is combat that. Mm -hmm. Fill him up with all of those things. Yeah. So when somebody says something negative to him, it rolls off his back like water on a duck. Uh. Yeah. You know, you have found, obviously you're, Phenomenal actor, but you have really found your voice in the children's book space. This is your second it children's is. book. It is. This is my second, but here's a secret that I'm only sharing with you. This is the first thing that was written. So I wrote this with Zule first, and then I went on to write the second book. So this is like my baby. This book means right. like the most to me. Um, I love Most Perfect You, but this, your first is always important and special, and this was the first thing. And it came from a really dark place. Like, a, it came from a place of wanting our children to know the best of themselves, mm -hmm. and it was birthed from dark, and hopefully it brings a lot of light. Which is also one of the pages about shining your light yes, in right. dark rooms. And I, I just have to, before we go to break, the illustrations Shemar are... Night Justice. Shemar, oh, job. these illustrations are so beautiful, and they complement the story.